Welcome to Okinawa, Japan. This semi-tropical island is the largest in the chain of the Ryukyu Islands and is the capital of the most southern prefecture in Japan. Surrounded by beautiful beaches, Okinawa has an average annual temperature of 73 degrees Fahrenheit. The island thrives from the popular tourism industry and is considered a hotbed for a variety of recreational water activities. You can find everything here, from hottie or dragon boat races, to sports fishing, swimming, scuba diving, kayaking, jet skiing, and surfing. With so many water activities occurring year-round, the potential for mishaps are high. The Marine Corps has lost a number of service members who have fallen prey to the waters that surround Okinawa. Males make up the majority of drowning victims within the Marine Corps in Okinawa. Victims tend to lack knowledge of water hazards, exceed their swimming abilities, or engage in risky behavior and swim in locations not supervised by lifeguards. This video was not developed to scare Marines from entering the water. In fact, the Marine Corps encourages you to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity where scuba diving and fishing are two of the best things going. However, we want you to enjoy yourself safely and come back alive. Picture this. It's a hot, beautiful day. The sun's shining. So you and your buddies decide to get away from it all and head to the beach and party. After a couple of hours, you decide to cool off and go swimming, while leaving your friends behind to finish the game of volleyball. Within several minutes of relaxing in the water, you notice that it's getting deeper and the current is becoming stronger. You choose to swim back in. Making little progress, you start to swim harder. The current continues to pull you further out while you continue to swim against it. Now tired, panic sets in, hey! and you start shouting for your buddies on the beach, but they can't hear you. Hey! No longer able to support your own body in the water, you begin to sink. Knowing that your life is passing before your eyes, you start thinking about your family and all of the loved ones you're going to leave behind. In less than 30 seconds, you're gone. How did this great day turn into tragedy? If you think this can't happen to you, then you are no different from those Marines who have lost their lives in off-duty water fatalities in past years. Here on Okinawa, drowning is the biggest threat to our military community and occurs so often that it accounts for more off-duty drowning fatalities than the rest of the Marine Corps combined. Most drownings on island are based on a result of three major causes. The first one is the failure to recognize that a hazardous condition exists. Most people enter the water without first looking for signs of danger, such as strong currents or steep drop-offs. The second major cause is the inability of the victim to get out of a dangerous situation. Once a person is exposed to the danger, they are not sure of exactly what to do. And the third cause is that the swimmer lacks the knowledge of life-saving skills to perform self-rescue, or assistance from others is not available. Many drownings could have been prevented had the victims been educated about the local dangers and trained in water survival skills. In addition to the major causes of drownings, there are also personal dangers, which include panic, cramps, and exhaustion. Panic is one of the largest contributing factors of a drowning. Cramps are a sudden contraction of a muscle or groups of muscles. They can be very painful and will not allow for normal muscle movement. This results in the swimmer losing the ability to keep momentum and stay above the water. If muscle cramps occur while swimming, change to a different stroke or get out of the water if possible and massage the area. Staying hydrated while swimming greatly reduces the threat of cramps. Exhaustion is the state when a victim has finally reached a point where their body and mind can no longer help them survive. Swimmers who are overcome by exhaustion often find themselves in dangerous situations and continue to struggle in order to make it to safety. Since the early 1990s, water fatalities have increased from an incident known as shallow water blackout. This occurs often in free divers, but has also affected swimmers in the military community. This most frequently occurs when the service member is not aware of the dangers of hyperventilation prior to submerging and are not under the supervision of a trained professional.
the use of drugs and alcohol are often covered in a variety of safety presentations. Their use, while mixed with water activities, can be deadly. Investigations into drownings have determined that the use of drugs and alcohol slow down one's reaction time and make dangerous situations look less threatening. The victims frequently misjudge weather, water conditions, or swimming abilities. It is estimated that nearly half of all drownings involve the use of drugs and or alcohol. Drowning deaths for Marines on island cannot be fully determined as some of the bodies were never recovered. The majority of you watching this film will decide to take advantage of the beautiful waters of Okinawa. Before you do, take into consideration some basic water safety guidelines. Never swim alone. If you get into trouble, nobody will be there to assist you or to get additional help. Always swim where there is a lifeguard on duty. Your chances of drowning are greatly reduced when you swim where lifeguards are present. Always enter the water feet first when water clarity is reduced. There is no telling what is under the water, such as rocks, coral, sandbars, submerged trees, or barrels. Swimmers are exposed to the dangers of head and spinal injury while diving into shallow waters head first. In addition, it's good common practice to inform others, such as a friend or the duty NCO in the barracks, as to what beach or dive spot you are going to and your expected time of return. One of the biggest misconceptions for Marines when they arrive on island for the first time is that large waves are not present here. Okinawa has several large surf locations that have been featured in surfing magazines. For inexperienced swimmers, divers, and surfers who are not accustomed to large surf, especially in areas where coral reefs are present, can find themselves in serious danger. Large waves on Okinawa tend to slam victims into the reefs, causing injuries from reef rash and broken bones to concussions and even death. In the surrounding waters, you will find two types of currents. The first type is the drift currents or side currents that move parallel to the shoreline. Normally, an inexperienced swimmer tries to swim against the current in order to return back to where they entered the water. If you ever get caught in a drift current, swim with the current at an angle towards the shoreline. You may not end up where you entered, but you should be able to walk back to the location. The other type of current is called a rip current. A strong rip current can move at the rate of 5 miles per hour, making it almost impossible for a human to swim against. If you become caught in a rip current, you'll be able to tell when you try to swim towards shore and have great difficulty. The current won't pull you under, it will simply pull you away from the shore. The best thing to do is to remain calm and stay afloat. Rip currents are usually fairly narrow, 20 or 30 yards across. Try swimming sideways to the current until you are out of it, then swim to shore. Another option is to let the current carry you out until it reaches the point called the rip head, usually outside the surf zone. It is here that the current begins to break up and you will no longer feel the water pulling you out. Now swim at an angle away from the current and back towards the beach. Because water conditions change rapidly around the island, the military enforces sea conditions that inform personnel of the current dangers. These conditions are based on wind speed and weather forecasts and are aired continuously throughout the day on Armed Forces Network radio and television. The information can also be obtained by contacting one of the scuba diving centers on island or the Potenma and Kadena weather flights. What's occurring on one side of the island may not be occurring on the other side. For this reason, sea conditions are broken down into two sectors, east and west, with three conditions, caution, warning, and red. During sea conditions, caution and warning, take extreme safety measures during water-related activities. condition red, all water-related activities are prohibited. All scuba dive centers stop issuing scuba equipment, boating operations close to the public, and recreational beaches close for swimming. Remember though, forecasts are only predictions of anticipated conditions. The surf and other weather at the beach may be very different. Regardless of the predictions, if the sea state seems hazardous, stay ashore. While stationed on Okinawa, you have a good chance of experiencing a typhoon between the months of May through November. 
The devastating power from Mother Nature has produced super typhoons that have hit the island with wind gusts exceeding 180 miles per hour. In order to prepare the military community, the Kadena Weather Flight issues typhoon conditions. They range from the lowest condition of TCO4, which means that destructive winds of 50 knots or greater are possible within the next 72 hours. The most severe typhoon condition is one emergency, which indicates that wind gusts of 50 knots or greater are occurring. Lives are lost each year during the typhoon season on Okinawa, and people have been killed from standing too close to the shoreline when they were pulled in by the backrush of a wave that broke higher on shore than they expected. The victims believe that they were in no danger. To appreciate the real power of water, one has to understand its capability. During one typhoon, three marines were swept offshore while watching waves crash against the cliffs. It should be understood by all who watch this video that standing too close to the shoreline during heavy surf poses a great risk to one's life. Aquatic life, while abundant around the Okinawan waters, are relatively harmless when using good judgment and common sense. If you are not sure what the life form is and the potential danger, then do not touch it. If you choose to reef walk or enter the water from an area with an abundance of coral, you should wear foot protection. Between the months of August and October, jellyfish migrate into the surrounding waters of the island. If you suspect jellyfish are in the area, ask a lifeguard if it is safe to enter the water. Now that you have been informed of the possible dangers and good common practices of water safety, let's take a look at some of the water locations you will need to take extreme caution at while enjoying your time in Okinawa. Starting at the far northern part of the island is Cape Heido Masaki. Access to the water can be difficult from land as cliffs protrude directly out of the water. The area is considered a Category 5 dive spot, which means it's a very difficult dive and should only be entered by experienced, advanced, open water certified divers or above. On the west side of the island, approximately three miles west of Tori Station, is Cape Zanpa Masaki and Bolo Point. This area is easily recognized by the large lighthouse at the point of the cape. The area is one of the few on island that is not protected by outlying reefs. The water becomes very deep within a few feet of land and is known for strong currents. Over the years, many lives have been lost in this area, with a significant number of the bodies not being recovered. Across from the east side of Okinawa, you will find E.K. Island, which is accessible by road. Located on its northeastern side is a hotel called Big Time Resort. The surrounding waters here have strong currents, making it dangerous, and is rated as a 5 on the category listing of dive spots. In conclusion, the water is a great way to enjoy your time off while living on a beautiful island surrounded by clear blue waters. To ensure that you enjoy your tour on Okinawa while meeting the Marine Corps mission, keep in mind the information we discussed in this video. Remember, stay safe so you can return home to your loved ones.